how to look more attractive with Sandy 101. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna tell you guys a few of my favorite beauty tips that elevated me from this to this To sum it up, I am telling y'all how to get hot You guys are getting all my secrets on how I became this sexy. Yes, I know Just know it is just as important to glow up mentally So make sure you're always taking care of yourself physically and mentally But today we're gonna focus on the physical part how to look more attractive with Sandy 101 Tip number one, you need to have a skincare routine. If you're out here just washing your face and doing moisturizer, please, please, please add more stuff to your skincare routine. That's kind of boring, no? Your skin can take so much more and your skin will literally thank you. Instead of just doing a moisturizer, add in a serum. Serum, moisturizer. Personally, I really like hyaluronic acid serums or niacinamide serums. Ooh, especially vitamin C serums. Mm, chef's kiss. Ever since I focused on getting my skin right, my skin has been so baby butt smooth. Like I barely get breakouts unless it's that time of the month and people compliment me on my skin all of the time People always tell me my skin looks nice and soft and I don't know about you guys But getting compliments that my skin looks nice makes my head so big. I fucking love it Tip number two is obvious but I'm gonna say it anyways because it's that obvious that some people don't do it You need to drink water. This is my Stanley and I drink four full cups every single day This is the 30 ounce one I feel like this was really easy for me to do because water is literally my favorite thing to drink If it's hard for you to drink water, try to find a way to make it more fun You could try adding lemons, cucumbers, strawberries, or even getting a cute water bottle Having a cute water bottle makes me want to drink water so much more Tip number three, double cleansing I heard that if you want a facelift in 10 years, you should continue using makeup wipes Personally, not me This is my favorite oil cleanser right now This is the Anua Heartleaf Pore control oil cleanser guys this is so good this literally gets off all your makeup i do like two pumps of this just lather it and then just put it on your face but i like to use the oil cleanser and then i cleanse afterwards with like a face wash but ever since i started oil cleansing my skin has become so soft like if you want to have glass skin 100 oil cleanse i guarantee you in just a few days your skin is going to be so much smoother just do it try it and thank me later beauty tip number four always be kind to people one of my favorite compliments whenever people meet me is you are so sweet or like people will be like i didn't expect you to be that nice like i get that compliment all of the time and it makes me so happy because it has been very important to me to always treat people with kindness because it is so rewarding when people are like you're so kind is that not a compliment you guys want i fucking love it and yes this is a beauty tip because when people look at you and you are kind instantly you're a hundred times prettier tip number five always wear sunscreen i'm sure you guys have heard this so many times because it's become so mainstream but one of the reasons why I wear SPF obviously because it protects your skin from the sun but I didn't wear it for a long time I only started wearing it every single day like this year the second reason why I wear sunscreen is because it actually has improved my skin texture probably because sunscreen is kind of thick like a thick moisturizer but applying it has made my skin so soft my top three SPFs I recommend is probably the one by La Roche Posay the one by Zit Sticker, and also the one from Innisfree these are the ones I use the most because they make my skin look super glowy afterwards they are just so good tip number six Find an eyebrow shape that really suits you Personally for me, I love straight eyebrows as you guys can tell I used to have arched brows and for the longest time I thought those were such a vibe But then I realized, you know what? Straight brows are really coming in Straight brows became so in in like 2019 And so I folded I have not looked back since Straight brows make me look so slick, so clean And also my face looks like way more gentle Arched brows were just way too much for my face A lot of you guys have been wondering like How did you get straight brows? I had my arched brows and then I I shaved off the tail but then over time like I shaved the top more and let the bottom grow more and then it became straight tip number seven contour your nose it's not that your nose is ugly bitch I just feel like nose contour with a little highlight just cleans up the look mm beautiful and also nose contour just makes your nose look so much tinier i have a full video on how i contour my nose so make sure you guys check that out tip number eight fix your posture always stand tall with your shoulders back chin up okay guys walk into a room with confidence because when you guys do that i feel like people just respect you more you know especially when you're like looking really hot and sexy and you have like a cute outfit and you walk in and you're just like yeah, I'm that bitch. I feel like people actually notice. There have been so many times where I walked into a room so confident and people like look at me, you know? And I love it. I love attention. <laughs> I'm an attention whore. I'm an Aries. I don't know what to tell you. Like literally, if you like stand like this with bad posture, girl, stop. You guys gotta have it up. Mm -hmm. And also, I've learned that if you guys want to fix your posture, I heard that stretching can really help with that and doing Pilates or something. So definitely check that out. Tip number nine, workout. I don't want to hear all the excuses. 
because why are you guys not working out? The reason I say working out is because ever since I've been working out, I look so fucking fit. I just love it. But also, I feel so much more confident. I personally think confidence is a real energy that people can feel and they can see and it's so contagious. And literally, I will take all the confidence energy that I can get. I feel like going to the gym is such an act of self-care. Like it shows the world that yeah, I care about my health. My confidence is higher. My body is more tight, more fit. But also working out got rid of my baby fat. And my baby fat was crazy. Literally, I do not look like how I look like when I was like 16. When I was 16, I had crazy facial fat. And I don't know if that's baby fat. But then I joined the swimming team in high school and I lost that baby fat. And ever since then, I have had this like beautiful womanly jawline. And I feel like it came from exercise. So yeah, definitely work out guys. And then to go off that, tip number 10, you guys should definitely try yoga or Pilates. The reason why I feel like this is a beauty tip is because doing yoga has really helped me tap into my inner feminine energy because I go in there and I am meditating. I am doing all this. You know what I mean? I feel so girly and I fucking love it. Like I literally have my yoga mat right there and I do yoga in my room when I'm not like at a class and it's just so nice. I feel so girly. Like look at my room. Doesn't it sound so fun to dress up a yoga class? Cause I find it so fun. Tip number 11, lashes. I love lashes. I've loved lashes for so many years and I sadly am one of those girlies that think I look so much better with lashes on. I just can't fucking help it. <laughs> These number one lashes by Kiss are just phenomenal. But like I'm just a lash girl. I've always been. But that's definitely like something that could boost your guys' confidence if you guys have a lash style that really speaks to you guys. Really makes your eyes look so pretty. Definitely be picky because not all lashes are pretty. This is how I look like with short lashes. My eyes look so tiny Ooh. and this is how I look like with really thick lashes. The lashes are just too much for my face, you know? I really love either manga eyelashes or lashes like this where they're super light and thin but they're long. Wearing lashes like this, I feel like have really like enhanced the shape of my eyes. They make my beauty enhanced. Tip number 12. This is a really weird tip. I am always lifting my ears. Huh? Don't mind the sideburns. I shaved them and they grew back and I'm too lazy to shave them again. I always have my ears lifted. Here's me moving them. But like having them up, if this is possible for you guys, if you guys can move your ears, lift them because they give you like this cat eye look and my face just looks much like, uh -uh, you know? When it's not up, guys, I'll show you guys the difference. Up, not up. Do you guys see how my eyes look so fucking hooded and my eyebrows look lower, my face looks sad. Do you guys know who that is? But when it's up, Girl, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. This is a beauty tip that only some will be able to do because I know that not everybody can move their ears. And if you're wondering if my ears ever get tired, they don't. I don't know how. They literally are lifted 24-7. Tip 13. Read self-help books. Beauty is also brains, guys. I think a person looks amazing and beautiful and I respect them so much more when I know that they're very in tune with themselves. They're really open to learning more about themselves and more about the world they're more self-aware and they want to achieve their higher self people like that are fucking awesome like you can have intellectual conversations with them and that's like the most amazing thing in the world am i right here's the book i'm currently reading that Shar got me as a gift good bliss this is 101 essays that will change the way you think this will make you so woke i literally just started it and it's already been so good like when i tell you me and Shar be having conversations so we'll be like remember that part of the book where it said that and then that guys we feel so smart i'll be like oh my god i remember that yeah and i feel like a lot of people at my age right now can relate but the 20s especially early mid 20s they're really a hard time because you have no idea what you want to do but you're trying so hard to figure out what you want to do but you're also becoming an adult so people are expecting you to know what it is that you want to do and it's a lot of pressure and having that much pressure can be so hard on a mental health and honestly it's so exhausting having that pressure on you i think that's something that really helps is finding a community finding books that can make you feel understood or finding books that can help guide you or at least just like give you some sort of comfort besides like talking to other people i think the self-help books are so helpful anyways to sum it up though i just think that girlies who are really into becoming their higher selves are fucking sexy tip 14 find a hairstyle that suits you hairstyle or hair color i've been through so many different hair colors and i've learned over the years that i like brown and black hair i did do blonde blonde was fun but having black hair or brown hair guys i have never gotten so many compliments in my life that i look so fucking healthy like i love looking 
looking healthy. That's my favorite compliment in the whole world. So find a hairstyle that matches your skin tone and doesn't wash you out. It makes you just look so amazing. If you don't know what it is, try different hairstyles. Try different hair colors. Tip 15, take care of your lips. Dry lips are not the move and dry lips are not cute. The way I've been making my lips soft for years is lip gloss. I'm a lip gloss girly. Lip glosses are way more hydrating than chapsticks. They're just so much better. Literally growing up, my mom used to always just put lip gloss on me and my brothers. Literally from like when we were kids. She'll have like the old Victoria's Secret lip glosses. Nowadays, the formula is very non-sticky. I like sticky lip glosses because they make your lips so fucking soft. You guys can totally like exfoliate your lips every once in a while. But like if you just wear lip gloss every day, you don't even need to. Tip 16, always prioritize smelling good. My favorite compliment is that I smell good. And I would like to say that I only started getting that compliment recently because I started taking care of how I smell. In the past, I hated lotion, so I never put on lotion. And then I would put on perfume every once in a while, but it was just a perfume just to put perfume on. But like, I didn't have a signature set, but now I think I have it. Okay, number one, deodorant. Please do not sleep on deodorant. If you're a smelly, musty girl like me, you guys need deodorant, okay? I'm trying to raise a nation of good smelling stuff aware girlies. So here are the perfumes that I love. I love this clean classic warm cotton. Oh my God, it smells like fresh fucking laundry and I can't, I just can't, it's so good. And then I love my Sol de Janeiro 68 perfume. I just got into this a few weeks ago, like maybe two, three weeks ago, and I love it. It's so good, it smells so good. It says here, Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to smell like, but this smells exactly like that. It just smells so good. But if you guys don't wanna buy expensive perfumes, you guys literally don't. Like this perfume here was so cheap, like 20 bucks or something, 25. Bath and Body Works has such good ones. And Victoria's Secret has so many good ones too. Just look on TikTok though. TikTok has all the resources. And also always spray perfume on like your comb and then comb your hair. That's how you get your hair to smell so good. You walk past people and people are just like, they smell your hair, you know? Beauty tip number 17, always give yourself affirmations. The way you speak to yourself really, really, really actually helps with self-confidence. Like I do this all the time where I'm almost like, oh my God, I look so fucking cute right now. Oh my God, I look so hot. And like sometimes people are like, where did the humbleness go? Girl, I'm not here to please you. I'm here to please myself. I feel like if you speak good to yourself, it makes you more positive, more elevated. You just walk life so much happier. Like you're a happy girl because you love yourself. And I think self-love is the most important type of love that you should prioritize. Tip number 18, always wear jewelry. I don't wear too much jewelry, but I do like simple, like hoops. I like wearing gold necklaces usually, but recently I've been really into crystals, so I wear crystals every single day. Some type of crystal, whether it's a necklace or it's a ring, but I feel like jewelry just ups the way you look, you know? It makes you look like you actually tried, so definitely put them on, and jewelry is not that expensive. Target and H&M have such a good selection. Tip 19, always take vitamins. All the self-care girlies know this, but a lot of times we are lacking in a lot of vitamins especially in the winter time like we don't really get vitamin d that much because it's not that sunny so definitely do research on vitamins that is good for you in your situation i personally take vitamins that help calm me because i get a lot of anxiety i personally find it really difficult to take pills so i always try to find vitamins in a gummy form and you guys can literally just get like multivitamins like they're so affordable for the amount you can get at like target or something tip 20 always get in good sleep girl you need your beauty sleep i don't know how but like I always wake up like the happiest bitch in the world. Every day, I wake up and I'm always in a good mood. And I love it when people are too. So please, if you're not getting beauty sleep for yourself, at least do it for other people. Because we do not want to see you crabby. Okay, tip 21. Always wear clothes that make you feel really sexy, really cute. This is one of the last tips I have for you guys because I feel like it's so self-explanatory, but like always wear clothes that make you feel happy. It doesn't even have to be sexy and form-fitting. Just get clothes that make you feel confident. Like that's the most important thing because when you feel confident in your clothes, that energy will always show. Tip 22, and this is the last tip. If you guys feel like you guys have no idea what your vibe is, you have no idea what you want your future to look, the kind of person you want to be, the kind of makeup you like, go Pinterest and find inspo because once you go on Pinterest and you save a whole bunch of like posts It really helps you discover what your style is what your taste is I went on Pinterest and that's what made me realize I really love the doyen makeup style, but I also love American makeup styles So I kind of like try to combine the both of them If you don't know what your vibe is go on there and save everything you like over time You'll see everything and it's gonna make sense. You're gonna have a theme trust me Like for me my vibe is always pink on there pink and white It kind of makes sense anyways guys 
those are my beauty tips for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you guys want more videos like this i actually really liked it mm. anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye Mwah.